Hey guys and welcome to Compound Body once again today. Yeah, that's right. This is Compound Body and we're here today. Alright, so what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be in an awesome video. This is dedicated to all um, my rugby players out there. Um, specifically, um, one of my subscribers, he asked me to do a video dedicated to rugby players. Um, he was primarily asking me, okay, what can you do uh, for strength and conditioning um, in terms of inside the gym, weightlifting wise? What can you do for rugby that will enhance your rugby game, especially your tackling? Um, so this video is dedicated specifically to that. Now, with that being said, I wanted to add a little bit more to it because um, you know in the sport of rugby, it's not only um, tackling that you do, but you also receive the tackle and you also um, are very explosive in terms of movement. So I just want to make sure that like I kind of cover a bit of everything. This won't. If, if the video has missed out some of the stuff, please guys leave a comment in the comment section so I can actually add those stuff. And if you do like the video and you want to see me make more stuff dedicated towards um, rugby or any other sport, then please leave a comment so I can actually make those videos for you. Alright, so what we're going to start off with, um, so I'm actually going to actually take you through what tackling in rugby looks like um, for all my rugby players or aspiring rugby players. So when you're tackling someone in rugby, um, what actually happens is that there is a big hit which comes up, like just like this, you're going to... PC. I mean, look at this. Bang. I mean, Ken Reese is a powerful man. And he's absolutely dominated it. So that's, that's what happens um, when you're playing rugby, you tackle just like that. So basically, in terms of that kind of movement, um, I'm going to basically walk you through some of the stuff that will help you to be strong, um, hit your opponent nice and hard, also hit them safely and protect yourself as well, bring them to the ground and have a safe and productive game. Alright, let's do it. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing is around the world using shoulder so we're going to be building up the shoulder in this one now in terms of doing this one um, don't focus so much on being stiff be a little bit um, more athletic because you're, you're athletes so what we're going to do is like this one two three four all right let's move on from there, you can actually grab the dumbbell, or you can do one arm at a time if you're trying to strengthen each side of the body. One, two, three. You can also do it in front. One, two, three. All right. Next thing that you want to do, you can also do it two at a time, or you can actually, this is a new one that I made up just to help you to strengthen your shoulders really well. So what you're going to do is pretend you're entering a tackle and you're going to wrap your arms around the opponent. Bam! 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 Like that. And so what will happen, um, because you're using weight, you'll get a lot stronger. So when you're, into, when you're in the game and you're actually going to wrap an opponent, your arms will move lightning fast. You'll give the opponent a really hard hit and lock him down so the ball doesn't um, get to be dished off to the other opponent, all right? Next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing the clean and press with a dumbbell. Using a dumbbell is also great because it's turning each side of the, each side of the body. Um, we're gonna use a barbell as well to show you what you can do with it. So, push, push, That's a very explosive movement for rugby players. We're also gonna move into the snatches. This will strengthen the shoulders, the legs, and everything. Like that, that will help you to uh, move off the feet, be a very explosive. All right. Um, so something else that I made up um, for this is actually the sled push. And about the sled push is gonna be done a little bit differently. So in the game of rugby, you, you run towards your opponent, you step in, and you wrap. So what I'm going to do with the sled, I'm going to push it really fast, 
really explosively. I'm gonna take one off and drive the sled again. Drive the sled again, just like this. So first, grab that sled. Push, 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 push. Just like that. So that will give you great explosive power, especially when um, you're entering into tackles. Just being able to either pluck the ball from the opponent, or you can actually just hit that opponent really nicely and drive them, take them to the ground. All right, let's go down. We're gonna do some stuff with the barbell. All right, so now we're gonna move on to barbell stuff. So these are things you can actually do to improve your game as well. We're gonna go through a few barbell exercises. The first one, the first one that we're gonna start with is actually the deadlift, and that's gonna help you be a more explosive rugby player. All right, so what it looks like is like that. So when you're doing the deadlift, you want to pull big weights as well as you want to pull um, low weights for a high volume. All right, when you're pulling low weights, you want to pull it really fast, like this. That. That's why you want to pull low weight. Now what we're going to move into is we're going to move into a little bit of kick and press. Then, we're gonna move into a little bit of overhead press but using like lunge techniques. And so this will get you stronger in the game from moving your opponent as well as um, also receive, um, taking a tackle and just in overall game play. So first you clean it, then you want to do all right next thing that we're going to get into so there's also doing a lot of squatting squatting is going to help you to go into the scrum as well as take the tackle see the tackle as well as just be a stronger player we're going to do a little bit of stuff with the um with the landmine and get that done let's go so now we're going to move on to the landmine activities these are great ways as well in order to you know, bring, uh, bring your level of play up another notch, make you a stronger play in the game. So we're gonna be going through like cleanup press, lunge press, that kind of stuff. All right, let's do this. First one on the list, clean and press. So you're gonna take one arm like that. You're gonna come up, power, power, power. It's all about the power. Now we're gonna move into lunge pressing. So what you're gonna do is grab the bar, like that, set up one leg, like that, lunge down, press, lunge, press, lunge, press, lunge, press. All right, next thing I wanna show you how to do is a, do a core twister activity. Um, so I did a video on that already, so I'm just gonna go through the technique. So what you're gonna do, from side, over, over, over. All right. So those um, moves and techniques, add them into your routine. That's definitely gonna make you a stronger, faster, better, bigger player. All right. Dominate that game. Be the man in charge, and show your team what you got. So until next time, please be sure to subscribe to our channel right now. Also, leave us a comment in the comment section. And shoot us a video on Instagram at Compound Buddy if you need more help with your technique with all the stuff that you're doing. Alright? So we'll see you next time.